If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Okay, so now we're gonna work on our zipper panel. So I'm gonna take my zipper tape, I do not have my pull on. On the wrong side, of the on the right hand side, I'm drawing a one inch line with a pen that will not erase. On the opposite side, we are going to fold each of the ends, so we have it right side up now, at a 90 degree angle, secure with the pin. You can also hand baste these if you wanted to. Make sure both sides are nice and even and take it to the machine and baste on either side. That is done. I'm going to trim the tails off like so and pull my zipper teeth apart. Now I have my zipper panel pieces. I'm going to measure in as per the pattern measurements in the pattern from each short end. And then I'm going to use a little bit of double-sided tape to fold the short ends into that line. You will want to do this for all short edges for all four zipper panel pieces. Okay, so now we're going to take one of the lining pieces and from the left hand side we're going to make mark three eighths of an inch in. And then on the other lining piece you're going to do the same on the opposite side three eighths of an inch in. I'm going to use double sided tape. Feel free to use clips here if you prefer. Along the sides we made the marks, we're going to go ahead and put some double sided tape along the right side of our um, lining and exterior pieces. So with our lining piece right side up and our zipper tape also right side up, we're going to have our zipper tape with the end that curves to the left and we're going to put that little curvy part of the zipper right at that 3 8 line we just drew and stick it or clip it in place like so. So both the lining and the zipper are right side up there. Next we're going to take our exterior piece and put it right sides together sandwiching that zipper tape and making sure that our zipper panels for the lining and exterior line up. So across there, do the same with the opposite side, but the zipper will be going to the right where the curvy piece is. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch into my right zipper foot here. This helps get a nice and even seam allowance to get nice and close to the zipper tape teeth and making sure that we have a nice and straight zipper. This is a good time to check your bobbin. I was close to playing bobbin chicken here, so glad that I checked. I have a nice fresh bobbin and I'm ready to go. want to do is we want to press our panels wrong sides together, our lining and exterior. You can definitely finger press that or you can take it to the iron if you have material you can iron. Once again, I'm using my double sided tape as my pressing agent. Um, if your machine can handle it, it definitely helps get that seam nice and tight. So I'm pushing my lining seam away from my zipper teeth as snug as I can, flipping it over, doing the same with the exterior part, bringing it wrong sides together with the lining making it nice and snug away from those zipper teeth. Take where the raw edge is and I'm just going to clip those in place so they do not move while we are sewing this together, making sure they are nice and even with one another. And then what we're going to do is we're going to baste along the bottom raw edge and top stitch the other three edges. And you're going to do the same with the other zipper panel as well.
So that is done and you can see mine are nice and even. Now I'm going to fold these in half like so along those zipper panels to find these centers and put small snips on the raw edge. And then I'm going to line up the raw edges of both the panels just to make sure they are still nice and centered to one another, which they are.